on this episode we are going to learn about uh, another useful conditional statement in C programming called uh, the switch case statement. A switch case statement, by using a switch case statement we can check the different values of a statement into a number of case values. That is the use of a switch case statement. Here is the simple syntax that demonstrate a switch case statement in C programming. First here is the keyword switch and here is the statement and you can put any number of cases in that particular uh, switch body. Here is the uh, opening brackets and here is the closing bracket of the switch body and you can put any number of cases into a switch statement. Here is case 1, case 2 and you have to put n number of cases uh, in a switch statement and finally there is a default block is also present. The working is very simple. Uh, the statement will return a value and it will check the, the this statement will check each uh, the value from the statement to each of these cases. That means if the uh, return if the return value from the statement is matching with any of the cases, uh, the statement or statements available with that case only executes. That is the use of a uh, switch case statement. If any of the cases does not match the value from the statement, value return from the statement, then the default block will execute. Okay. Uh, you can get more idea about how to use a switch case statement from the following example. So here I'm going to demonstrate the use of a switch case statement with a complete example. I declare a variable here in x and ask for ask for the user to enter any number Prandav. slash and enter your choice enter your choice okay uh, read that number into variable x so using the scanner function scan of uh, is an integer value so use percentage d now put the address operator ampersand uh, ampersand x okay now we got the value on the x value on the variable x now i'm going to check the value of x into a number of cases using switch case statement uh, switch so put the keyword switch and put that variable here x it is not an expression you can put an expression you can also put an expression uh, it is just a variable and I open the brackets for the switch now I put my first case case 1 if the value of x is 1 then I put some statement here print off hello from case 1 hello from case 1 okay so if the value of x is 1 we got the output hello from case 1 that means it will compare the value from the variable x to the case 1 now again I put another case you can put any number of cases so here I put another case it is 2 print off hello from hello from case 2 hello from case 2 okay uh, I put one more case this case 3 hello from case 3 okay actually default is optional default is actually optional one so you can uh, you can avoid the default but here I put the default also default block also uh, default print of hello from hello from default block okay you can uh, you may avoid this uh, default statement default block so here I just put three 
cases case 1, case 2, case 3 and finally put the default block put the slash on each cases because we need need the statement in a new line okay so I just complete the I just complete the program and save it now compile it compilation success now run it ok enter a choice it asked me to enter a choice so here I'm going to enter the final choice that means case 3 so I enter value 3 so I got the output allow from case 3 and also I got the output I got the statement from the default block also hello from default block okay um, again I run the program again I run the program uh, now I put the choice 1 now the expected output is hello from case 1 but we got output like this hello from case 1 hello from case 2 and hello from case 3 and hello from default block okay so that is the working of a switch case statement so we can check what is actually happening here first it asks me to enter a number on the second case I put value 1 so the, now the value of x is 1 and check the value of x with the case 1 now the value of x is 1 and the value of case is also 1 that means the first case is satisfy the condition so normally it is it will execute this statement hello from case 1 but it also execute all the statement all the statements available with the subsequent cases without without doing any further checking that is the working of a switch case statement that means here the first two cases just satisfied uh, we need only this output but uh, it automatically print out it automatically executes all the subs all the, all the statements or block of statements available with the subsequent cases so it will execute this also hello from case 2 and again it execute case 3 hello from case 3 and finally it will execute the default block hello from default block that is the problem so we can easily avoid this problem by putting a break statement into num into individual cases so here I put a break here so we already see what is the use of a break statement in C programming so when you put the break statement it will exit the entire loop so here on the first if I put okay, if I run the program again and I put the value for the x is 1 so here the first case will satisfy and it will print out this statement hello from case 1 now it got the break statement so the entire loop will exit here the loop is switch case so the switch body will exit so we got the correct output now so I save the program again compile it run it so now I enter the choice as 1 now we got the correct output because now we put a break to the first case statement first case so the entire loop will exit so we got the correct output so if you want to execute only one case at a time you have to put a break on that particular case so if I put if I put value for x is 2 I got the output I got incorrect output like hello from case 2 hello from case 3 and finally I got the statement from default also because I'm I'm not put I am not I just uh, put the break on case 1 only the break is not present on case 2 case 3 so I save it again compile it again run it again so now I put value choice as 2 so now we got the incorrect output hello from case 2 case 3 and hello from default also so I have to put a break in each case okay so now it is okay if you put if you enter any choice we got the correct output compile it 
run it now i put the choice as 3 now i got the correct output there is no need to put a break on the default block because if you enter uh, any value that is uh, that is not satisfied with any of the case it will execute the printf so after executing the default block automatically the switch block will exit so there is no need to there is no need to put a break statement on the default block so here if i uh, if i enter a wrong choice it will automatically enter into the default block okay that is the use of that is the working of a switch case statement in c programming so one more thing you can use integer values and character values in a switch case it is not possible to use a float it is not possible to use a float value in switch case you can use only uh, you can use only expression that you return integer or character in a switch that is very important keep always keep in mind when you're using a switch case statement okay guys thank you for watching see you in the next part